Hello everybody, this is Tren and welcome to part 13 of Eternal Darkness Sanity for Cream for the Nintendo GameCube. Last time we finished off Kareem's chapter and as we are now back in uh, this uh, in the mansion again, we now have a couple options. Uh, if I recall correctly, there were, there were three places that required the new rune we just got. Uh, First off, let me check off the dresser key, which we got uh, way back uh, here, way back in the beginning. Uh, since I, I now can enchant uh, items, I will try to enchant the dresser key and use it on the dresser uh, here. Uh, oh, let me just enchant this. Oh, you can't actually enchant it. Uh, okay, let me check this out then. Um, strange, because I do have that, if I try to, maybe I should mix a new spell. Okay, item, and item project, item self, item absorb? Nope. Ah, maybe, it, I guess we have to go back, get back to this uh, at uh, another date. Uh, but I do remember there was this uh, glass painting thingy over here that seemed to require a rune. A stained grass, the paint of glowing medieval radiant, luminous in with the faint light of the turning sun. The maiden to uh, the Do I have that rune or can I now? Nope. Ah, red herring. Anyways, uh. Then I know at least there's one place I can go. If you remember back in the beginning, there was one that required one place where you can insert a sword, but since we didn't have uh, magic, the magic required, we couldn't actually enter the door there. Uh, oh, wrong side. I think it's on the other side. Like right here. Uh. Here. So if we just enchant this play, Gladius, we got earlier. Item, item has been enchanted. So now I guess we can use it and enter. Hooray! A new area has been opened. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Among the pantry consoles is a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. That's a spice jar! Sweet. Now I can spice things up a bit. The kitchen is as empty as the libra library is full. A reflection of her grandfather's attitude. Always learning, reading, studying, rather than eating. Uh, what's that on the... Oh, well. So, let's check the spice jar out. A firmly sealed grass spice jar. The faint aroma of Arabian spices is tantalizing, emanating from it. There's a piece of paper inside it. Should Alex open the jar? Yes. Ooh, another shark. Chapter breaks. The lurking horror. Sweet, so I guess we just. Oh. Nope, cuts in time. Peter is using magic. While Soren watches on. Eyeballs! My liege, the future is yours. The power the light is of yours. The age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. Blech. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation. That will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. Guardians. Oh, but I wanted to uh, 
I want to add some spices and things. Anyways, uh, I guess we can move on to the next chapter now. Because, hey, why not? The lurking horror. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. Hmm. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? And where's that I damn 4K of the world? Eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. 1760. 1760. So we're actually in the mansion it has been now two in the chapter. Since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now I am truly alone and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure. My time here, I have to make them. But then monsters appear. <laughs> okay, so now I can explore the mansion in the past. Maybe I can uh, create some sort of uh, <laughs> uh, paradox if I move stuff around. <laughs> Max, I want some flintlock pistol. Sweet. A desk clutter with no sense. Ritz, mostly business to do with the Royvis estate. What does this guy have? He has a flintlock gun, a medical journal. Hmm. And a nice painting. A book later makes in medical journals, references, and reports. Uh-huh. Okay, let's leave this uh, room and explore further. Hmm. Oh, a person. Get the pistol animation. Talk. A servant is preoccupied with his duties. Nice servant, obedient to my master, to his master. Search. Outhouse. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Marvel so much over the toilet. Are you sure to scrub the toilet yet, Jarvis? You remember to do that every day, every hour. If you don't do it, your head is going to go down the toilet. Hey, I didn't say to quit scrubbing the floor. Go back to the floor. Doesn't do his duties. He, ugh, now he's just standing around. Rem remember to fire him later. Out of cannon. A room? There wasn't a room here before. Oh, it's a servant's quarters. Hmm. The servants is planning an uprising. I know it. Those damn servants. Hey, this is different. Something odd about it. Huh. Whatever. Maximilian, it's time to explore the mansion further. There's surely something we can do here. Something fun, like watching pictures. Woohoo! Hm. Clock. Hey, where's the bust? 
Ah, uh, flintlock ammo. I can accept that. But the uh, hell? I think I see some tentacles in there. Right. We explore them. Ooh, what do you have here? Visit place the open letter. Let's read this letter. A letter written with some precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you asked is indeed the tome of eternal darkness, or a copy of it at least. Its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, that is, have most scholars who have tried. It will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it will be a powerful weapon. Peruse, if it, uh, peruse it if you will, but beware of its magic. It is a harsh mistress. Aaron Roybus. Aaron. <laughs> Must be a relative. Ooh, another servant, Pester. The servant butters under his breath, not realizing that Max is nearby. He appears to be distressed by his lot in life, working all the time. <laughs> but I found a codex. Wonder why the, this is in the mansion. A stone tablet carved in a strange picture graph is displayed on the map place, an odd conversation picture for sure. Hey, the dresser doesn't have. Oh, I can't. You can't open it. Boo. Wait, what is it? Still just the picture. Okay. Last time I was in here, it was a bathroom. Now. It's still a bathroom. Hmm. Two bathrooms? Marvelous. The mirror's grim reflection returns Max questioning gaze. His face racked with his sleepless nights and strange gleam in his eye hints at a growing odd demeanor. Huh. I can't do anything with the toilet. Okay, will this have a jump sticker in it? No? Fine. Yeah, sir, and you keep working that floor. Time to check the... the first floor. Because why not? Need to stop shaking the paintings all the time. Ah, another servant. Hello, servant. Ooh, I can uh, check my surroundings. Such a nice mansion. Yeah, whatever. Uh, la di da di da. Hello, down there. If the server comes by, I'm gonna drop a loogie on him. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. More letters. Nothing pleases me more than reading letters. A letter scrolled in a panic tan with cloudy link. Dear friend, the house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not to enter it in fear of my mortal soul. I would suggest that you leave also. Bring the book. It is a far more potent tool than you have learned and may well swing the balance of in our favor. A Royas. Ooh, Aaron is warning us. But I don't see any ancients here, it's just me and my servants. I should my servants, despite plotting uh, against me for being an upper class man. Those working class fools. They seem nice enough. Cold moonlight filters through grass stained windows, even the servants cleaning every day. The house still never seems to get over very clean a little bit. Whatever. Uh, I need to find a tome and get out, I guess. Because this civility of mine seemed very adamant about it. The stone tablet is sort of control up, seemingly out of place in the room. And I'm just gonna walk around with it in my pants. Morphin luck and munition. Hey, servant. You're not plotting against me, are you? I have my eye on you. Ugh, I hope that doesn't count as sexual harassment. Ooh, a flame. 
Cozy fireplace in the poker point of the kitchen, all lending a good deal of warmth to the austere room at night. Austere. Talk. While he's doing about their duties, the servant casually remarks about strange quality hanging near. It's oddly common, it makes Black Billy feel like something quite amiss. Why would she say that? They are plotting against you, my Maximilian. You should kill them all. With the pump handle. The pump handle is sitting here by yourself. What is this doing here? I agree. Let's put it in our pants. Uh, let's continue. Out of the kitchen. Hey, servant. And into here. What a nice. Let's shake the room. Hey, servant. Oh, can talk to him. It's very quiet. It makes me require anything in service. Yes, you can. Shine my boots. They are quite filthy. Ooh, what do we have here? There is something to break beneath the image. When darkness really spreads his wings before my master, to do us greatest foe, the path of truth will be opened. Ooh, okay. Uh huh. Okay, uh. Select? Oh, wait. Whoa! That didn't go well. Uh, you didn't see that, servant. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I'll get back to this later. When I get my tomb and get out of here first and foremost. Let's check the other room. Must of Hey! It's a bit door. Ooh. Triangle. The wall is decorated with the color triangle design. Whether Max have seen this particular embellishment from time to time, it's still, it's still amazing. Ah, an image. The reception features a collection of strange line designs, which is usually in a cyclical manner. There appears to be some significance to it, but it's particularly evident. Hmm. Hey, there's supposed to be a door here. I don't have any spells, right? Nope. I need to find a tomb for that. Ooh, good luck. Let me try and leave. So many things are covered in the house. Maximilian is inexplicably drawn back into the house to continue his exploration. Aww. Okay, let's go back to that room with the puzzle. Uh, I guess it's something I have to do here with this. Ah. Uh, this is probably not very smart, as I take damage from this. Uh. Oh! This one. Oh. Enter secret passage. You don't see this servant! The curved scroll of age part besides the top stack of dusty books is covered with strange diagrams and writing. Reveal invincible spell scroll. Oh ho! Or ornamental saber is displayed on the wall. Maxis acquired the saber! Sweet! Now oh, there's the tome. Oh, this coffee cartel is lit against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Each brush stroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling as to it is building itself with a harsh impotion of unreality. A grim picture indeed. Yeah, whatever. Let's explore some more. Gun! A flintlock pistol. 
I thought I already had a Ooh, dual wield! Let's get John Wu up in this hissy. Right. Are there anything more? Examine. Appear to be a wax frog in the same kind of carved part in the center of the symbol. Odd line design. The symbol of something? Hmm. Anyways, as we can see, the term of eternal darkness lies here. So. And I guess once I pick this up, some serious shit is about to go down. So, uh, I think this is a good time to any to stop this part. Next time, uh, I guess we'll try to escape the mansion with the tome in hand. And hopefully, uh, we manage to do that. So, this has been Fren. See you next time. Bye!